I mean, I'm almost scared to take this out because what am I looking at? Let's be gentle. Oh my gosh. This is, I'm scared. This is honestly the craziest book mail I ever received in my whole life. Like my heart is racing. Why did, why did you send me this? Okay, so this will without a doubt be the most insane book haul I've ever done. Cause the last book I'm going to be showing you at the end of this video, and I've already unboxed it, and I'll insert that clip at the end, but I'm telling you guys, it is without a doubt the most incredible book mail I've ever received in my life. I need to show you some other book mail and also open some book mail. So this will be lots of fun. So maybe make yourself a cup of coffee. My wife just made me an oat latte and let's open some books together, shall we? Okay, first off with my patrons, we did a secret Santa and my gift finally arrived. And um, this is a broken binding edition and this has the art of prophecy here. So I know what this is, but wow, what a gift this is. So let's open it. This is the Art of Prophecy by Wesley Chu, and this is the Broken Binding Edition. So it has beautiful sprayed edges, and look at this cover art. This is absolutely incredible. So I actually don't know that much about this novel, but it sounds very, very fresh, and yeah, it's just such a beautiful edition. It's also signed and numbered, and it has art on the naked hardback, and without a doubt, my favorite thing is it has a full colored map, and this map is absolutely incredible. Let me show you guys. Here we go. How stunning is that? That is absolutely beautiful. So if you have read this one, definitely let me know. And Norbert, who I know gifted me this, Thank you so much for this generous gift. This is absolutely incredible and I can't wait to get stuck into it. All right, and then we have a massive package that the Brogan Binding sent to me. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I know what this is. So these are all individually wrapped. We have three books here and I just, I'm so excited. I haven't read this trilogy yet, but I've heard amazing things and it's on my TV over this year. The Last War by Mike Shackle. So let's have a look at these books and these are still on sale. And fun story, before I revealed this book, when The Broken Binding was like three weeks old or something, it was a brand new company that hosted lots of giveaways, and I won, well, let's see if I can find it. I won this copy on a Twitter giveaway, and and it has a signed book plate inside of it. So this is literally one of the first books The Broken Binding ever sent out, and it's definitely one of the first giveaways. And it's quite interesting that we are now at this stage where this paperback with a signed book plate in it has become this, We Are The Dead, hardback edition i think it's limited to a thousand copies with incredible spread edges and it's signed and numbered to 1000 and look at this there's even like stuff on the naked hardback and this is absolutely gorgeous and here we have the fool's hope by mac shackle book two and the last war trilogy this is also signed and numbered this has some different a sword and an axe or something. Here we have the edges. I'll show you them all together. And here we have Until the Last by Max Shackle as well. The third book in the trilogy, also incredible edges. Let's see what's on the naked hardback. It's also signed and numbered. So this is so, so cool. So they're adding like a weapon for each book. And here we have all the edges together. This is so beautiful. And here we have all the spines. These are absolutely incredible. And these books weren't originally in hardback. So these are like special editions, limited to a thousand copies. And yeah, for some reason, they are still on sale. I'm not sure why these haven't sold out yet. All right, and then we have some other book mail. I recently went to The Forbidden Planet and I found a special edition of Anansi Boys by Neil Gaiman. I haven't read this one, but it is signed and it's filled with illustrations. I mean, it is. it has so many illustrations. There must be at least 30 or 50 or something. It's just the amount of illustrations in there. A beautiful end paper, beautiful naked hardback, and it's signed, it's Neil Gaiman, he's a legend, and it's a signed copy, so yeah, maybe I'll get to this one. I'm definitely planning on reading at least one Neil Gaiman book this year, and I couldn't say no to such a good deal. It was only like 20 pounds for this special edition with lots of illustrations and signed, so yeah, very excited about this one. And then I went to a charity shop, and if I found a taste of gold and iron, and I'm not really planning on reading this one, but it's an ARC. And this is not the first time I've found ARCs in charity shops in Southampton where I live. So there is another reviewer that lives in this city. If you are watching this video, make yourself known. I need to know who this person is. And then I got The Silver Blood Promise by James Logan. This is also an ARC. I read this book. It's absolutely incredible. Beautiful, beautiful cover art. And I'm so excited about this one because this is a signed ARC by the author. He kind of sent this to me personally. And yeah, this is a great book. So I'm very happy about this one. And then an author sent me all four books in a series, four books, and these are all signed. We have Wizard here, we have Witch, and there's a Kickstarter edition coming out. We have Sorcerer and Sorceress. 
And there was a Kickstarter a couple of months ago where the first book in the series is gonna get like a brand new like leather edition. And the author kindly offered to send me a copy of that Kickstarter when it comes out. But first he sent me all four books. So yeah, these aren't that long. So maybe I'll actually go and have a look at these because I can probably read this in maybe a couple of days or something because they don't seem that long. Let me know if you have read these. And then one of my patrons very kindly sent me God Killer by Hannah Kainer. So this is absolutely beautiful and also not that long. So this is definitely a book I could probably fit in somewhere. So if you have read God Killer, definitely let me know. And yeah, you know who you are who sent me this. Thank you so much. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And then we have some book mail from Inkstone, These Burning Stars by Bethany Jacobs. This is also a special edition. Thank you so much for Inkstone for sending me this. This is signed and numbered to only 500 copies and also we have stuff on the naked hardback. I always appreciate these little things and I haven't heard much about this one. So if you have read this one definitely let me know it's worth checking out. And then we have more Broken Binding. The Will of the Many. I put some protective stuff on here because I'm so scared I will damage this book. But yeah the Will of the Many special edition. I mean this book is everyone is looking for this book online. Beautiful beautiful end paper. Look at that incredible it's also signed and numbered and I must be the only one in booktube that has to read this one I feel like everyone has read the will of the many and everyone raves about it so I feel like I really need to get to this book this year but first I want to read like Hanius which is his first trilogy so we'll see when I get to this but yeah I'm so excited about this one and the cover art is by Katrina Paints it's so beautiful I definitely prefer this edition over the normal standard hardback and then we have House of Open Wounds by Adrian Tchaikovsky I only bought this one because I own the City of Last Chances, also the Goldsboro edition, so I had to have a matching set. I haven't read this one yet, but I've heard mixed things about the first one. Some people say it's incredible, some people say the structure is weird, but yeah, these edges are some of the best edges I've ever seen from Goldsboro, maybe ever. And as usual, this is also signed and numbered, and yeah, I definitely need to read some of Tchaikovsky's fantasy work because I've had very mixed experience with his sci-fi work. So either I'll start with City of Last Chances or I will start his Magnus Opus, The Act of Shadow, which I think is a 10 book series. So we will see. Let me know which series do you think I should prioritize. And speaking of Adam Tchaikovsky, I have the third book here in The Act of the Shadow. I started collecting these and I haven't even started it, so I'm not sure. I really need to start Empire of Black and Gold, I think the first book is called, just to see if I'll enjoy this and if it's worth keeping up and collecting these. Because <laughs> if I hate this series, then why am I collecting these? So yeah, I'm definitely prioritizing to get to the series this year. At least read the first book, hopefully the first couple of books, just to see if I'll enjoy it. But yeah, this is a Broken Binding Edition, so this is like green spread edges, beautiful cover, but this is the normal cover. And as usual, this is also signed by the author. And I think these are very, very cool. And, and it kind of seems like this might be an underrated series. We will see. Let me know if you have read this one. And third, but not least, we have How to Make Trilogy, the Broken Binding Edition as well. So much the Broken Binding book mail in this video. But just wait until the last books. It, it'll blow your mind, the three last books I'm gonna show you. But these are incredible. This is part of the subscription. So these edges make up a beautiful, beautiful pattern. These are all signed and numbered as well. And I'll show you one of these, because honestly, these might be the best editions that have come from the subscription. Each book in this trilogy has beautiful art on the naked hardback, which is incredible. And then they have, each book has two like illustrations on their end paper. So this is unique to the first book. And then there's a different one on here. And the book two and three also have unique end papers. And I read the first two books in this trilogy last year and I'm going to be reading the third book hopefully this month and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so so much. But without further ado let's get to some insane book mail and I apologize that the video quality is going to change now because when I arrived back in the UK I had forgotten my memory card so I had to record that video on my phone. Okay and now for the biggie. I literally just arrived back from the Faroe Islands to the UK and I forgot my memory card so I'm recording this on my phone but I don't care because I've been waiting for this, bo this box for a month now. And I know there's a couple of books in here that I have purchased myself because my friend in America who sent me this other book, um, he basically, yeah, if I have some books and shipping is too expensive, I can order to his address. But he said that he had given me an additional book and he wanted me to record my reaction because he said that this is gonna apparently blow my mind. So <laughs> I absolutely can't wait. And um, yeah, let's get into it because yeah, I just, I just can't wait anymore. So the first two books on top should be books that I have purchased. Okay, starting off, we have, oh, so beautiful, Jade's Charts by Fonda Lee. This is the subterranean 
novella edition so this should be yeah it is signed and it's also numbered yeah i read the j setters of jan loon last year it was one of my it was probably my favorite novella of last year and yeah this is like a limited edition only numbered to 1250 so i really have to have this in my edition now in my collection i now own um, the whole trilogy here in special editions and i have j setter somewhere in between there but yeah this is gorgeous cover art and yeah i mean the green bus hack is one of my favorite series i really need to have this one I mean, for the money, it is maybe a tad much. I think you pay for the exclusivity and the cover art, which is like, they got someone to do this cover art for only 1,250 copies. But it's pretty mad that you have to pay this amount of money for a novella, but I suppose that's what you pay for the, ex the <laughs> exclusivity. So let's look at the next book. So here we have one of my all time favorite books. I ordered this so long ago and it's finally Finally here. Okay, here we have Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, the subterranean press as well. One of the nicest books I own now. The, I mean, even the dust jacket feels high quality. So this is the special edition by Subterranean Press. Project Hail Mary is now arguably my favorite standalone of all time. And when I saw they had some additional copies, I just went for it. Yeah, absolutely stunning quality. Just, I mean, if you could hold this, it's so heavy as well. Like you would just know, this is premium, premium quality. And if you haven't read Project Hail Mary, what are you doing? It's a basically a perfect sci-fi standalone. And I'm so happy to have this. I already have a signed first edition of the like normal hardback. But yeah, I'm so happy to also have this. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah, set signed and numbered. All right, let's get to the last one. And I am kind of scared and also very, very excited. What is this? Let's see. Okay, I think I know what this is. I mean, I'm almost scared to take this out because what am I looking at? Let's be gentle. Oh my gosh. This is, I'm scared. What, what is going on? This is honestly the craziest book mail I ever received in my whole life. Here is a bookmark. Here's a hint. The plate itself, illustrated by Tommy Arnold. And this is Curious King and I'm not even sure what edition I'm holding here. I think this is the numbered edition. <laughs> what? This is, why? Why did you send me this? Like my heart is racing. Why did, why did you send me this? This is one out of 150 numbered copies. I am lost for words. Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. This is the, we have here the end papers. I'll just introduce the book because I, I don't know what to say. And I'll show you some of the illustrations. So if you just go through them. I'll add some B footage here. Here we have an illustration. This looks so nice. Look at that. And here we have the next one. Oh, I love this one. He looks absolutely horrifying. Oh, and also the chapter headers. These illustrations are insane. Look at this illustration. He has like an arrow through his heart. Oh, wow. How many are there? There's so many illustrations. Here is the, here's the next one. This is just too crazy, man. I don't even know what to say. Oh, look at this. There's also like, what do you call this? Like when they add art inside. Tippins, I think. It's called Tippins. <laughs> I'm definitely not like enough into collecting to know, honestly. Thank you so much. This is the nicest book I own. I almost feel like I'm getting emotional. Like, why would you send me this? There's even like, oh, wow, like, it's like stained, but it's also color. You can't even see, you can't see the col the, the details on the camera. So um, yeah, those are, this is without a doubt, the most insane book mail I have received in my life. The blade itself, numbered edition, first law. <laughs> I will never, never, never forget this. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Now, if you want to support what I do here, then I do have a Patreon. Now, a reason why I created a Patreon was to find a new way to reinvest to the channel because basically since I created my Patreon, I spent around 100% of my earnings to hire an editor to do a couple of videos for me a month. Now, since creating my Patreon, an editor has done more than 20 videos for me on my channel, so it makes a huge difference. Now, if you join my Patreon, you will also get some benefits. For example, you'll get a name in my videos like these guys. You'll also be able to join the exclusive Viking book where every month we read one book together and you might be the one to put the book forward. This month we're reading this book and next month we're reading this book. You also get to vote on my next read, get access to exclusive videos like a wrap up or even book reviews and so much more. But this is totally voluntary, but all support is much appreciated.